welcome back to my channel. I feel like this is one of the most exciting videos I've ever filmed because I've never been so excited. I'm going to Ibiza tomorrow at like 6am and I'm filming this now and I haven't packed because I moved out of uni yesterday and you should see the state of my room, there's clothes everywhere but I thought I can't go to Ibiza and not film a haul. So here it is. <laughs> I don't even know where to start, I've got that many things. But this is kind of all the stuff I've actually bought because there's a lot of stuff that I'm probably bringing that I've wore or like it's not new. So I thought I'd show the new stuff, even though I'm looking at it and there's probably more new stuff than not. I feel like I'll start with like the bits and pieces that are kind of like a bit random and then work our way up to like the outfits that are a bit more exciting. Like looking at me right now is this yellow bodysuit from Pull and Bear. I'll say where things are from. I think most of it is PLT to be fair but I have odd things from like Zara and like shoes and things um but yeah it's this like very high leg yellow bodysuit which is really nice but kind of weird like because it, it kind of pulls like because it I kind of wish like this was a button but it's not so it feels like you're getting a bit of a wedgie but the colour is stunning so I feel like couldn't not get that um, I'll, I'll insert like clips of me trying things on here so I'll probably move up a little bit um, it's just easier to insert them than to like film, try on, sit, sit it down but yeah just a yellow bodysuit body you'll probably see me try it on I'll probably just pair it with like denim shorts maybe in the daytime this is the thing because I go in and like everything's been kind of rushed and not everything's open I don't actually know what we're doing like the only plan we literally have is ocean beach which we booked months ago because the beds came on sale and we just we just got it and i had no idea that it would be on the green list like we've genuinely got so lucky that we booked ibiza in november and conveniently it's on the green list when we're going so now everyone's going <laughs> but yeah so i kind of i've got outfits but i don't know what they're for which is kind of a problem, but I've got enough that I should be fine. Um, Yeah, another random thing, which is also yellow. I'm bringing these shirts, which to be honest, I might not wear, but they're just these very bright, is it linen, cotton? I don't know. You get the gist, I'll put the try and clip on. Um, I've worn these a lot, to be honest. I'm saying these because I've got another one. <laughs> Um, so I've got a pink as well. I feel like they're just easy, like they're from Zara. Um, I don't know any of the prices, but I'll try and link things below. Um, but yeah, they're just easy to put on top of things. Like even if you're wearing a bikini in the day, like chuck a shirt on top. Depends how hot it is, because if it's really hot, I feel like you won't want that. But it's a, it's a good piece to just chuck on, so I'm gonna bring them anyway. I feel like there's no point leaving them at home when like they're bright and summery. So I'm bringing them with me. Next, this is another thing from Pull and Bear. It's a co-ord. Um, I've had to have the pants taken up because they were so long. Um, obviously I'll, it'll look better on the try on, but um, it's just this like crop top that's like tied at the back. Like sandy neutral vibes. Um, and these the trousers. I'm not joking you. I've never seen trousers long in my life. They were so long. So they're just these, and they just go all the way down to the bottom, like wide leg. Um, I feel like these would look really nice, like on a night, just sort of watching the sunset with like just sandals. Like I feel like they're not really like a heel vibe. So obviously not for like clubbing, but if we're having a more of like a evening, like having a nice meal, that sort of thing, then. That that'd be perfect. I feel like this is gonna be really random because I've just anything that I feel like is summer appropriate I'm bringing because I don't know what I'm gonna need. Um, sorry if you can hear birds. Anyways, this is another cohort from Pull and Bear. Um, I got it in the Trapper Center like I don't know a month ago or something. Um, I feel like pretty cute like these shorts and it's a t-shirt so I feel like maybe I'm having a day where like I want to hide my shoulders because of sunburn or something it's really like cool to just put on top or I don't know 
you know what I mean? I probably won't wear it, but <laughs> it's just one of those things. I'm going to bring it in case. I could even wear it on the at the airport on the way back. Like, it's that sort of thing. So, yeah. They're cute. The, the feel of them is just like... I kind of thought it was a bit like bikini material, if you know what I mean. But it's not. It's just, just cotton. <laughs> uh, I've also bought some new pyjamas. Because I don't know about anyone else. But I feel like you have to have fresh underwear for a holiday and fresh pyjamas that like I can't wear just like pyjamas I've been wearing all year um, and plus these are cuter than my pyjamas <laughs> the pyjamas I've got so just these pink cute shorts and then it's like a button up style top and like as much as I feel like they look quite thick they're like that sort of like airy like material like you know when like you, f you know you're not going to sweat in it <laughs> that sort of thing so i'm just trying to button button it up um yeah so this is the top as i say i will put try and clips in but ugh, i feel like i'm not leaving gaps for them so they'll go somewhere i feel like this is what you were waiting for so we'll just go straight ahead with the ocean beach outfit because it's probably the most exciting thing i've got um oh and then pajamas were from plt forgot to say so this is what I'm going to be wearing to Ocean Beach. I'll just put the clasp together. I wasn't sure and I've had that many outfits with Ocean Beach and I finally decided on one. Because I feel like it's pressure. Like, I feel like, you know, like anyone could be there and like, it's just the girls like proper go out all out, don't they? So it is, it is pressure. But I've gone for like sunset sort of, you know. So this is the top from PLT. And then the bikini bottoms which i've had to get in a bigger size because they did fit kind of weird it says high leg but they're not so if you're gonna get this get a bigger size i'm usually like a six and i've got a ten so go up at least two sizes so you can kind of put it off a bit but yeah it's the um orange ombre high leg bikini bottoms and i'm guessing it's the same with the bikini top but this is the key part it comes well it doesn't but it's got a matching skirt which is kind of like the whole thing that, that sold it to me. Because I feel like for Ocean, you need like a whole thing. Like not just like a bikini and a random thing on top. It needs to be a collective outfit. You girls will know what I mean. <laughs> so this is the orange ombre double split beach maxi skirt in extra small. Um, it'll look better on the clip. But yeah, it's just this. And it goes all the way down with a slit in the leg. Well, two slits from... It's just gorgeous. Um, I tried it on, I loved it, but I wasn't like 100% sold on it because the skirt was too long, I've had that taken off. And the bra for me was like very like, this section was very far out. So I felt like it made me look like even more flat chested than I am. But I was there with my friend at the time and Charlotte was like, no, like that is knockout. Like people won't be wearing that like you, you, like you look insane. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna trust her judgment. I feel like she she won't lie to me. So if she's saying that's like, then I'll wear it. So yeah. And I feel like I haven't seen anyone wear that sort of thing. Like it's it's color. Like it is a bit in your face, but like in in a, like an elegant way. Like not in like a like tacky in your face way. So now I like it. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, I got these white. Um, what are they called? These are from Boohoo. These are the Bride Cheesecloth white, Wide Leg Beach Trousers. So they can't go wrong like with this sort of thing. Like we're planning to have like boat day and stuff. Just So just like these sort of white, wide leg. Just to go over a bikini. Like this is honestly the comfiest things I've ever tried on. So I feel like I've bought other daytime stuff. But I feel like I just wear them with bikini top. Good to go. Um, but yeah, speaking of beach cover-ups, I also got this curled from Boohoo. It is the Crinkle Beach Shorts in stone. Um, so it's again just this sort of thing that you put on top of a bikini. I feel like it looks like nothing when I do that, but it'll look better on, I swear. And then it comes, well, yeah, it's a curled, so it comes with like um, the shirt. kind of hard to show but I didn't realize it was long sleeve but it's kind of nice that it is it's just something a bit different you can't you can't tell what I'm showing you right now but 
just yeah again on top of a bikini shove it on I, i'm there for five days i feel like i've got too many things but the more the more the better i reckon and I, i've realized i've got two things in that sort of color so i got this dress from plt it's this stone tie front chiffon beach dress again like a beach cover up i originally got it in i'm guessing like a six or an eight and it was just because it's got these sort of like sleeves it was like cutting off the blood circulation in my arm so i've now got it in a 10 i haven't actually tried it on so you'll see in the clip but hopefully it fits better it's just like like kind of what it says just like a tie on over the bikini dress it's all a bit do you know what it's always happens you always get a bit muddled up when i'm trying to show you <laughs> now it looks really big but i'm hoping i can just tie it and it's gonna look cute we can hope you'll see in the video because i'm gonna try everything on after this bit so fingers crossed everything's fine because i go tomorrow i also got the same shorts as i got in the stone color in black from fuhu the crinkle beach shorts black in a small again just perfect chuck on on top of a bikini i feel like you know on holiday you do just spend like your whole time in bikinis basically so we'll get to the actual bikinis i've got at the end um this is kind of like another this is a nighttime outfit so this skirt which is like so comfy. So a night where I'm feeling a bit bloated would be perfect. It's the multi pastel print mesh lettuce hem skirt in a size six. So yeah, it's just this. I honestly love the colours. Like I feel like I'm loving like anything like orangey at the minute. Um, and this is the top that I'm pairing with it, which you've seen before in like a different haul. I've had it for a while. Well, since I think my birthday. Um, so I've not got like the name for it, but it is in another haul, which I can link below. But the colours like match more or less perfectly, like the greens, the greens in this and the green in this. So I was like, that goes together. Um, so yeah, that is an outfit. This is an outfit that I'm obsessed with. This is one of the things that I actually like bought specifically. Like I saw it on Boohoo and it was like, it said there was four left. And I was like, okay, no, I need to get it. Like because basically I wasn't meant to be spending much money because I've basically not saved anything because I've been so busy and to be honest I didn't think we'd be able to go I thought I thought we'd at least move back to August but luckily we can go but it meant like I couldn't really buy everything I wanted to buy because I need to kind of keep the money for when I'm over there because so many people said like Ibiza is so expensive so I didn't want to go with like nothing <laughs> Um, but I had to get this because it was just stunning. So it's the high neck wrap mini dress in lemon in size six. I'm not joking you. It feels like you've got nothing on. Like it's just, I'll show you. I feel like it looks nothing like how it is, but this is the dress. I'm picturing it with like a slip back, like bun, like the yellow does everything for me. Like I don't need to, like even when I wasn't that tanned, I put that on, it makes you look tanned because it's that like piercing yellow. But it's just, it's just weightless. Like it, if you know what I mean, like it, if you sunburn, you put that on, it just feels like you're walking around with nothing on. Like pe honestly, perfect. I love it. So I think I'm gonna wear that with some like white heels and like a white bag. I've got a yellow bag but I feel like yellow on yellow is a bit much so I think like the white with the white heels stunning I also got some like head scarves and I wore the white one the other day and like I love how it looks so I got um a peach and a lemon one as well I probably won't try them on because kind of effort to put on I need like someone to help me and um, but yeah and then I got a white and a green I feel like in the daytime like I never knew what to do with my hair it's just one of them like usually I just put my hair like on top of my head but if you're gonna like be taking a picture and wanting to look good like your hair just doesn't look good so at least if you've got like a headscarf on it doesn't really matter about the bottom of your hair it just sort of sticks out I thought that's a good idea um two more outfits left and then we'll get to bikinis and like accessories um so this outfit is a pretty little thing I wore it for my birthday but I, I think I don't 
have any pictures in it so it's one of them like you may as well recycle it and it's the sort of thing like easy to wear abroad so it's just that um crop top in like a cream and it comes with these ruched um cycling shorts so yeah i'm not sure what vibe i'd go for with that but it's just easy to wear like comfy cream can't really go wrong and the last full outfit that i've, I've bought which i definitely want to wear is this plt orange abstract print bandeau ruched bodycon dress god that's a mouthful <laughs> and i just love the colors in this i feel like i've not gone for like traditional like pinks purples reds like i've gone for like oranges and like earth toned stuff um so it's this dress it's got like cup detail like ruched detail and then it's sort of ruched at the bottom as well obsessed with this like it just like makes me look so like curvy and amazing like thank you for that dress um so that is everything that i'm gonna be wearing i've got other random things like i've got a corset top that i've had for a while had got shorts and things like that but they're all kind of like i wore them and plus i'm actually going to be vlogging ibiza so you'll actually see what i end up wearing because at the minute it's all kind of like yeah i love everything but it's going to depend on the night and where we're going yeah last but not least the bikinis and to be honest this is my favorite part like kind of have an obsession with buying bikinis so you've seen i've literally got a roll in like let's go back um you've seen the ocean beach ones that's one day um you've actually seen this i realized you've seen this in a plt haul that i did but it's this olive bikini rouge bikini which i've shown before obsessed with that absolutely obsessed can't wait to wear it and then the ruched bottoms just stunning um I was gonna say oh i was gonna say i'll put pictures of the models and the bikinis because i feel like they'll do it more justice than i would but i'll try the ib the one on which you would have already seen um so we as a group we decided to do like a day of matching bikinis i think we're gonna do it on a like a boat day um just just like thought it'd be quite a cute idea like there's four of us going and like there's quite a lot of bikinis that were in like at least five different colors so we could all choose so I went for this sage green. So these are the bottoms, pretty standard high leg. But the top, like it's very basic, but like really cute at the same time. So it's this one shoulder sage green bikini, which I absolutely love it. Originally I was gonna go for the yellow and then it just was sold out. And I feel like sage green's one of my favorite colors at the minute anyway. So it's kind of fitting that I should get that color um so georgia who's coming has got pink kira's got blue i remember i think katie's got red so that's kind of cute Um, that fits so well as well like probably the most comfy bikini i've got you're gonna realize that i've probably got more bikinis than days but sometimes you you switch it up say i'll go to the beach in the morning come back to go to the pool probably change my bikini because it might be a bit sandy so we'll see <laughs> um i have this these all I've shown so far is from PLT, but I, I will link everything. This is the cream high waist bikini bottoms. Which way did they go? That way. Um, it's the top that's obviously the main component. So it's this very elegant looking cream bikini. And I honestly feel like if you was getting married abroad and you was having like a bit of a pool beach situation, you could actually wear like, I don't know, it looks to me very bridal. Like say you was on like your honeymoon, I feel like it fits with like, if you've just come from your wedding to wear like that sort of bikini. In my brain, that, that makes sense. Um, Second to last, do you know what? I've realized as well, all my bikinis aren't bright either. They're all very like nude earth uh, tones. But I think I just wasn't feeling like pinks and like bright colours. I don't know why. Maybe because I'm blonde now. I don't know whether that makes any sort of difference. <laughs> um, so there's this. This one is from Nasty Gal. So it's snake prints, 
Blythe High Apex Bikini Stone. I don't know what that means, but I'll link it. So yeah, again, very comfy. And then the bottoms are just like so. <laughs> I do love a snake print. Print. I feel like it's actually very flattering to wear. And then last but not least, I have oh wow, well, it's two things. But I have this giraffe print from Nasty Girl. Giraffe print one shoulder swimsuit, which I'm not gonna be able to show you because I feel like it's just. How do I figure this out? So that's like, God. So that's kind of like the top section. So then, and then like the bottoms obviously come like that. I'll put a picture of the model so you know what I'm talking about. I feel like that would work very well because we're, we're we want to do like, um, what are they called? Oh, like a water sports day. Like I love anything like that. Like, um, paragliding banana boats i've never done jet skis they kind of scared me but i would definitely be up for it but like that sort of day like i'm doing them sort of things i would love that so i feel like a swimsuit is always good for that thing so like nothing's gonna come off um you you slightly saw like this so i may as well show you i bought this in lockdown when it was hot like last year and to be honest i think it's from top shop but i love i do love the print and love the color but I think the top is one of them tops where like it's meant to be it's meant to show like under boob because look how small that is like do you know what I mean like it fits but you either your boobs are like pressed in or it's under boob and I don't really like the under boob look so it's one of them I might take it whether I wear it I'm not sure and I also have another bikini from Topshop which I bought in lockdown again the sizing just wasn't the best like i love the shape of the top but it's really flat written but the bottoms like have got them sort of sides and it, they just sort of like dig into me so i feel like the last thing you want is to be uncomfy in a uncomfy in a bikini like it's like having uncomfortable underwear like you just there's nothing worse because then you're thinking about it as well like i want to have something on and not have to think about what i'm wearing if you get me you get me so yeah that is kind of everything the last few bits i've got is from primark and ego so i've just randomly went into Primark the other day and just picked up this beach bag which was only eight pound i just thought it's really cute i don't have a beach bag and the thing that's kind of sold it to me is it has a zip and i feel like most most beach bags don't have zips and then everything just falls out so I actually love that like I feel like it's very Zara like you'd expect that from Zara I was very shocked by Primark's bag selection as well like they had so many nice bags um and then whilst I was in that I saw these oh gosh these black sandals which were also eight pound just thought such a classic like I feel like they're nicer than norm like just wearing flip-flops like say if we're going for like a nice lunch they're just a bit a bit more classy than like flip-flops you know what I mean and then I did just pick up some neutral underwear which are like seamless ones very comfy thought why not and actually the last two things now I feel like I've said it's the last thing for about 10 minutes but let's start with this because it's in my hand oh my just got back hi so these are to go with my um ocean beach outfit so they're from ego i'll link them below georgia has got the same ones but in white i think and she said they're comfy so i'll trust her opinion so yeah i thought i can't go with the same ones and i'm wearing orange so the orange matches and i feel like it could go with the dress that i showed earlier as well i feel like i could wear it more than once so yeah went with them really pretty and then now last actual thing which I everyone's been wearing at the minute are these they're like fake yeezys but they were literally £9.95 on, on ego like in the sale and i thought i'm getting them like because a lot of people have got the ego ones before the actual yeezys and like i said like there's literally like no difference so i got these i wanted them in the white like i did like the white and then they sold out so i think i got them in ivory i think it is or tan or something like that 
don't know how I'd know, but I I'll link them. But I couldn't get the colour I wanted. But oh my god, I tried them on like for a second, and they feel like clouds, like so comfy. And all my bikinis, as I say, are like neutral colours. I feel like stick them on like going down to the pool or down to the beach. So comfy. A steal, if you ask me. And I'll probably just because at a minute I wear these feelers around the house. So I feel like they'll just become my new walking around the house sliders when I'm back. So I'll get use out of them. That's what time was off. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is it. I hope you enjoyed the haul. I'm hoping this isn't a long video because most of my videos are like an hour long. <laughs> um, but yeah, stay tuned. I will have a vlog out as soon as I'm back. And I'll probably do a video if you want to know the ins and outs of like all the COVID things we've had to do and like the things we've had to do before we go away. I feel like to explain that would be quite good because it, it was confusing and I wish, wish someone had done a video before I went. Um, so let me know if you'd want to watch that. Um, but yeah, stay tuned on my Instagram and for the vlog to see the outfits in person. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and you know, welcome back to my channel because I've been missing, as I said in my last video, so videos will be coming at least weekly from now on, we hope. So yeah, love you all lots and I'll see you in the next one.